हेलो एंड नमस्ते एवरीवन यू आर वाचिंग स्मार्ट टेक फेस एंड आई एम अंजली विद अ न्यू वीडियो रिलेटेड टू द मोंगो टीवी सो टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज द प्रोजेक्शन इन मोंगो टीवी सो टुडे व्हाट वी वांट टू डू इज वी वांट टू प्रोजेक्ट सम डेटा फ्रॉम द मोंगो टीवी कलेक्शन आइदर इन अ एग्रीगेट क्वेरी और अ सिंपल फाइंड क्वेरी सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड so firstly what we want what we want is using the so simple find query how we can project the data what is the projection mean let's say we want to we, we are getting these three data after having a find query but we want only few columns from this like client name client id and let's say email we want only these three data from this data from this collection so what we want is let's okay so this is a normal find query that is find all and what we want is we want a client id we will use we will use one one is for showing the data and zero is for disabling the data let's say you have a 10 number of 10 columns you want to show only two columns then it will be better to you to use the one that is use one for those column which you want to show but instead of it if you have 10 columns and you want to hide two columns now we you you have to hide the, the number of hiding the column is low so in that case you can use the zero for that that means it will not show that column in the resulting data set okay and let's say only use these two columns now if i will run this this is for find all as if you will remove this one if you will remove this one that means this is a find all but after this if we will you will use this curly braces that means this is this curly braces space is for the projection query and if you going to use one and one that means you want to show that column and you can see that underscore id is here but we haven't mentioned the underscore id actually underscore id is always be going to be in your result set until or unless you will not going to hide it using the zero fine you can see after mentioning the zero underscore id is now disabled now let's say now use the zero for these fields and just remove this underscore id now here you can see that client id and client name are not available here now after this let's mention something to the find query now i want that i want that client id i want the data with the client id whose value is 108 now this is your find query space and this is this is your projection space so this will uh, this is also will be work like this only so this is your find query and this is for your mentioning the projection query so this is how you can mention the projection in the normal find queries either it is a find all or find one or something else you can mention it like the like here the projection now let's say you are using the aggregation query then how you can going to use the projection in that case let's say this is a lookup i have used for the aggregate query don't go on on the lookup part you can even go to the my other part other videos where i have mentioned the lookup in the collection but you can just uh, you can just ignore for a moment because we don't want to we don't want to uh, focus on the lookup part so what we want is after mentioning all the aggregate query what you have to do is use comma and use this space again this is the curly braces for the project project here is projection so you have to use the dollar project and in the dollar project mention the field name which you want to use as a projection i want the client this is the client this is the data of the client client dot client id if anything is in a nested format you have to use the dot if anything in or at the root level in that case it is at the root it is at the root level and you have to don't use you don't have to use any dot in this so if it is in a do, uh, root level use username dot uh, username one and if it is a nested how it is nested you can see this is a client and this is in the nested part either in a array or in a 
map format that doesn't mean but if you are using dot that means it will only use to mention the it is going to mention the uh, nested value of the client id let's firstly run it without projection so in this you can see that in the client ids what we, we have number of data we have client and we have in, in the client array this is the number of data we have but if i will use the space for the project that is this is the main thing you have to show that is the dollar project which is for the projection and in the projection part if anything is in a nested format this is the root level root dot client id okay root dot client id this is that how we can mention the projection for the nested keys okay so this is the client name this is the username you can see username is here user id is here and email is here and role dot role name here it is we are also using the nested part so role dot role name fine and this is the, the data which we are getting before projecting but if i will run this you can see the data is going to decrease and we have only the limited number of columns in our result data resulted data set so i think that is somehow it will be clear to you that how you are going to use the projection in the aggregate query or either in a find query in the aggregate you query you have to use the dollar project we use one for showing the column we use zero for uh, hiding the columns in the in the and in the find query we have also used that, that this is for the find and this is for the projection here we have used zero for the underscore id because by default it will be a, it is going to show you the underscore id field but in case you don't want that field you have to mention the underscore id equals to zero zero that means we want to hide the underscore id field so this is all about today's topic i think that will be helpful for you in your mongodb courses or mongodb work application work so if you have any doubt just mention it below in the comment box or you can mail me at the smarty tech face at the rate gmail.com so take care bye bye